Hallelujah. Why don't you appreciate the Lord for such a powerful song ministration? Amen. Please, you can take your seats shortly. There's something called supernatural elevation. An uplifting that is a product. An uplifting that's, an, that's a product of God's doing. And tonight, we are blessed to have a friend we know very much already. We know him so well. He's not um, a stranger. He's part of us coming to minister to us frequently in our camp meetings and of course over here too. We've been friends for several years. He's a very humble man of God, outspoken, anointed. And um, I normally call him the dynamo, the dynamite, and the dunamis. The, because of the dynamism with which he ministers God's word with a prophetic punch. Tonight, we are blessed to have him to minister to us. He's the senior pastor of Living Springs and National Accra. Shall we turn our feet shortly? And let's give him a mighty Lassi welcome. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, do it better for Jesus Christ as it comes. Receive him well. Receive him well. If you receive him well, you shall be blessed. Hallelujah. Receive him well. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, somebody, give God praise tonight. Give the Lord a shout of heaven. Come on. I said a shout of heaven. Come on. I said a shout. Yeah! Yeah! Hallelujah. Do you know that the circumference of your mouth determines the blessings that God puts in it? The circumference of your mouth. The circumference of your mouth. Determines the blessings that God puts in it. And the reason why I said that is that God said that I am the Lord thy God. Who brought you out of Egypt? Open your mouth wide and I will fill it. Yes, I am a cast and I say, O Yakupon say, Mini me would I take Munyakupon? I mean, you will free me, Sidima Sasa, so Mumia Manukasia, Namishanama. Open it wide. Give the Lord a shout. Somebody give him praise. We praise you, Lord. We lift you up. We lift you, we lift you, we lift you. Hallelujah. I can see that your shout has killed about three demons tonight. That devil is a liar. Clap your hands, all ye people. Shout! You are killing a demon tonight. You are killing. You are killing. 
When I give you glory, when I give you glory, hallelujah. Amen. Just give somebody a high five next to you and tell the person God is about to do something new in your life. Come on, tell the person God is about to do something new in your life. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Sit down and cross your legs and let the devil know you're in charge. Oh. I said, cross your legs and let the devil know you're in charge. Somebody shout, I am in charge. I am in charge. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to God. Amen. We bless the Lord for tonight. I'm excited to be here. It's always a great blessing to be in the presence of God. Because in the presence of God, our worst disappears and our best is brought forth. Anytime we come to the house of God, we never leave the same as we came. The Bible says that upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. I believe that tonight the will of God will be done in your life and in my life. If you believe that with me, say amen. Amen. I want to acknowledge God's servant and his wonderful wife, the apostle and reverend Mrs. George Aigu. Mrs. George, are you cool? Great, great, great servants of the Lord. I place a lot of value now, on me, my relationship with them. And I want to thank God for their lives. Now, Man and woman of God, thank you so much for inviting me. Let's give God praise for their lives. Come now, on, put say, your hands together. Say, put your hands say, together. Say, if you are not clapping for them you may be gossiping about them that hand that is clapping for them is about to receive a new blessing come on stand to your feet and let's honor them this tonight we must give honor to him on us too. come on and give the Lord a shout of fearing for their lives we love you we salute you Love you. We salute you. You mean so much to us. You may be seated. I also acknowledge the other men and women of God in the house. Apostle Maswale Kuful and your wonderful wife, the prophetess. Yeah, Apostle Max. Will you please give God praise for their lives, Reverend Ayi? So far, and. Please forgive me, forgive me. Those wonderful men of God there, please forgive me. You know, I don't know your names. Please, let's put our hands together for them. We really appreciate you for your labor of love and your loyalty to God's servant and his wife. And I know that eternity shall greatly reward you for all that you do 
Amen. Amen. And acknowledge all the other leaders and the workers and all of you for your total commitment to this great ministry. We really appreciate you and I pray that the Lord increase you greatly. Amen. Amen. I brought some sons and daughters of my and I just wanted to acknowledge them uh, ladies first I have my <laughs> daughter here my PA and I'm just stand to your feet let, us, let them acknowledge okay. you God bless you for coming with me love you the love of the Lord and I have my son here Pastor Peter God bless you and uh, Rigobert is here he's also one of my sons thank you for coming and my one and only Amobera, <laughs> Minister Ebenezer Hammond. Where is he? Thank you, sir. I love you. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, tonight is going to be very fast and furious. <laughs> I have an assignment tonight. <laughs> And my assignment tonight is to share the word of God with you. Then on Friday night, we are going to labor in prayer for supernatural delivery. And I trust that somebody here will not miss Friday night. There is going to be an anointing service on Friday. And the Lord said to me that on Friday night, somebody's breakthrough basket will touch the ground. Hallelujah. Amen. But tonight, we are going into the word of God. And I pray that as we get into the word, we will let the word get into us. See to your neighbor, let the word get into you. Because it's one thing to get into the word. And another thing for the word to get into you. I've always said that as Christians, whatever breakthrough or miracle we desire, ladies and gentlemen, it is in the word of God. The Bible said that all things were made by the word. And without the word was not anything made that was made. Your miracle, your breakthrough, your testimony, the answer to that prayer is in the word. And tonight I pray that God will use the seed of his word to meet somebody's need. This meeting is about supernatural elevation. And tonight I want to talk to you about a message I've entitled The Right Attitude for Elevation. Somebody say right attitude, right attitude for elevation. For elevation. Say it again, right attitude, right attitude for elevation. For elevation. If you did bring your Bible, turn with me to Philippians chapter two. And we are looking at verse five through to verse eleven. Let's share the reading of the word of God. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Who being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery equal with God. But made himself of no reputation. But made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a born servant. And coming in the likeness of men. And being found in the appearance as a man. He humbled himself. And became obedient to the point of death. Even the death of the cross. 
Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Somebody say right attitude for elevation. I hear in my spirit somebody is about to be moved to the next level. If you don't believe, you don't say anything, but if you believe, you lift your beautiful hands and shout yes. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we give you praise tonight. You are the reason why we have gathered here. Unto you alone shall the gathering of your people be. I ask tonight that let your will alone stand. Let your purpose alone prevail in the service. For many are the desires of a man's heart, but the counsel of the Lord alone will stand. In the name of Jesus, I pray for the spirit of revelation and understanding. I hide myself behind the cross. Speak through this earthen vessel of clay. And at the end of the service, you alone be glorified. And let the devil be terrified. In Jesus' name, and let God's beautiful people say amen. Amen. Right attitude for elevation. Dear friend, the God you and I serve is a good God. That is why we always say that God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. And it in a debia ya kase. O nyame ye na abri nyinara o nyame ye. It means that God has a bountiful propensity both to will and to do as good in life. And ye trese o nyame wa akoma pase obeye ne pankwa amaye ngwa brabo imo. When Bible declares that all taste and see that the Lord is good. Now I nyame nyina ready and dance ye se. O nyaku podi e o ye. Oh, taste and see that the Lord you serve is good. The Bible said that behold, every good and perfect gift comes from above, from the fire of life. With him there is no variation or shadow of turning. I want you to turn to somebody say to him, hey, God's plans concerning your life have not changed. Some may delay, but the truth is, they shall surely come to pass. And I prophesy over somebody here tonight that by the end of this year, you will be a candidate of testimonies. By the end of this year, you'll be an instrument of signs and wonders. Come and lift up your hand and shout, Yes! Faithful is he who has called you and I, and he will surely do it. Let the devil eat with tablets for breakfast. We don't care. Whatever God has said concerning our life, it's just a matter of time. They will surely come to pass. Somebody shout, God is good. God is good. And dear friend, because God is good, he desires our progress in any endeavor of ours. Whatever we do, he wants us to progress, advance. He wants us to go forward and forward and forward and forward. Retrogression and setbacks are not part of God's agenda concerning your life. Somebody 
I submit to this apostolic grace tonight. And I prophesy to somebody that you will prosper. You will continue to prosper until you prosper exceedingly. I declare that you will increase. You will continue to increase until you increase exceedingly. Come on, shout yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Any vicious cycle of setback and defeat in somebody's life tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost, I declare it broken now. I declare it broken now. Every setback. Every setback in your life, I hear you, my spirit. God is about to use it as a setup for your next level. For your next level. For your next level. Shout hallelujah. Is somebody here with me tonight? Who you and I are this year? Who you and I are this year? Should it be the same next year? A year by this time, you and I should have moved to another level. That is the plan of God concerning our lives. He's a God who wants us to move from glory to glory, grace to grace, faith to faith, strength to strength, honor to honor, favor unto favor. Slap somebody high five. Say to me, I see you going forward. Catch on your say. Love community chapel. Get ready to break new grounds. Get ready to take charge of new territories. Get ready for new frontiers. Shout yes. But I want you to look at me right now. Let me see your beautiful eyes. The truth of the matter is if God is going to lift us up if he's going, if he's going to elevate us our attitude cannot be ignored. Nothing in God happens by chance. Everything in God happens by choice. The exalted throne of Jesus did not just happen. Jesus was exalted because of his attitude. And when I talk about attitude, I'm talking about the way you and I think that reflects in our conduct, our behavior, our nature, and our general disposition. It is your nature that determines your future. It is your attitude that determines your attitude. That motivational speaker and pastor in the United States in one of his books, he's called John Maxwell. He said that our attitude almost always determines our altitude. Hallelujah. Amen. The way you think and the way you do your things will determine how far you will go in life. Let's look at how Jesus did it. Can you go back to Philippines? Okay. Yes, from verse 5. Hallelujah. 
Let this mind be in you, which means let this attitude be in you. Which was also in Christ Jesus. Who being in the form of God did not consider it robbery to be equal with God. Well, Jesus well. had a selfless attitude. Then that's verse. But made himself of no reputation taking the form of a bond servant. Jesus had a servant attitude. And coming in the likeness of man. Next verse. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death. Jesus had a submissive attitude. Even to the death of the cross. He had a sacrificial attitude. And because of that. My Bible says. Therefore. God has highly warned. Exalted him. That's the truth. I realize in the Bible. That the great people who walk with God and make great impact in their time and in their day were not necessarily people who were more gifted than others, talented than others, handsome than others, or beautiful. They were people of attitude. Abraham was blessed by God because of his attitude of obedience. Moses led the people of Israel out of bondage because of his attitude of weakness. David fought Goliath and brought total victory to the nation Israel not because he was more gifted or skillful than others it was because he had an attitude of courage say to your neighbor God cannot do anything for you without your attitude Tonight, because of time, I want to be real quick. Hello. Ah. Tonight, we are going to look at some areas yeah. in our lives yeah. that we need to develop the right attitude. And if you and I are able to do that, I announce to you, nobody can stop you in life. I said nobody can stop you in life. Your destiny will become unstoppable. Shut yes. The first point, have a right attitude towards God. Say to your neighbor, have a right attitude. Have a right attitude towards God. Towards God. Come on, come on. If, 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 if somebody sitting next to you and the person couldn't talk to you, I, I give you the permission to change your seat. Sir. Look straight into somebody's beautiful eyes. If the person can look into your eyes, he or she is, is a suspect. Mm. If you are sitting next to your wife, look straight into her eyes. If you are sitting next to your husband, look straight into his eyes. And tell him or her, God cannot do anything without your attitude. Tell the person it is time for you and I to cultivate the right attitude towards God. Give me some 50 verse 12. 
How many of you love the word of God? Oh, hallelujah. Amen. My goodness, Psalm 50 verse 1. Now watch this. Are you ready? Oh, hallelujah. God said, if I were hungry, I will not tell you. For the world is mine and all is fullness. We must have a right attitude towards God. Unfortunately, there are some people, even some faithfully serving Christians, who have a lopsided view of God. They have a distorted perception about God. And to them, they think that God needs them more than they need Him. And because of that, whatever they do for God, they do it with a supportive mindset. Instead of a servant or service mindset, they think and feel that God will be in trouble if they don't do something for him. He said, if I were hungry, if I were hungry, I will not tell you, you know the reason, because you are too small to feed me. God is too big human support. If I were thirsty, I am not going to call you because you don't have what it takes to paint my test. Yes, if I am hungry, you can't feed me. Whatever I need, you don't match. You don't have what it takes to meet my needs. You are too small. The Bible says that God is mighty in strength and wise in heart. Who has hardened himself against him and prospered? Say to somebody, you are too small. Tell the person, you need him more than he needs you. So, you and I must come to a place in our walk with God with this understanding that without him, we are nothing. Mommy, mommy, catchy, Kakra. Tell me, didn't you make us ask him when you say a Christian food be a ban and say, and you woo, tell me, and you woo, how much wrong who do do? It's rain, yummy. How much wrong, Papa? Oh, Papa, oh, Ghana, oh, feel so, oh, support you, yummy. I bet two new men of you say, or support you, Yami, and a media, Samashia, me, you, Pio, me, Masori, Pio, or did you seek up a meritia, or feel so, or support you, Yami, the God you and I serve, he sits in the circle of the earth. Then he knows what pleases him. He is the I am that I am God. The almighty God. The unchangeable God. The same yesterday, today, and forever. Shed yes. Watch me. 
I hear you, my spirit, one more time. Mm -hmm. Somebody's about to be elevated. No, I got that. and seek his face in prayer it's not for his own good my prayer does not change him my prayer rather changes me when I study the scriptures it's not for God's good it's rather for my own good when I come to church regularly and commit myself to the vision of this church it's not for the good of God but for my own good when I give my tithes when I give offering when I sow special seeds to promote his kingdom it's not for the good of God it's rather for my own good it's too big to require your support Amen. You will get to a place in your work with him before you pray is answered. Jesus said, For your heavenly father already knows your needs. There is a place in God. You pray. It's already done. Because of the kind of relationship you have with him. Somebody here, change. Oh, sister. I said, change. Change. Change your attitude towards God. Change. And he will lift you up. Are we receiving something? Today? Yes, sir. Kabibi. If I'm not able to finish, we shall continue when we shall continue. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I tell you something? Any need you have, any problem you have, whatever challenge it may be, it's not new to God. So there is nothing in your life that he cannot fix. It's not new to him. He has fixed one before. 
He has seen one before. Why won't be paid? He has dealt with one before. Oh, what people wants to be paid? And you will not be the first person and he will disappoint. Am I talking to somebody? As far as God is concerned, there is nothing new under the sun. Oh, baby, any way you throw away, I say. There's nothing new under the sun. Baby, any way you throw away, I say. So what you are saying? Hmm. Odofo. Hmm. Apostle, on power, Joe. Hmm. Say you be be me ready. Baby. One can say amen. Amen. Shout yes. Yes. Kabo seta. There is nothing new. Baby, any way you are from under the sun. I remember years ago in London the first time I saw a door a door called automatic door I was visiting this bank and a few meters to the entrance the door opened by itself many years ago and I said wow this thing has never happened before until one day I saw in the Bible when Peter was kept in prison and the church prayed for him and God released an angel to visit him and the Bible says that the angel told him follow me they came through the first guard post through the second guard post and they came to the iron gate and my Bible says it opened it opened by itself so yes so there is nothing God cannot do for you some doors are about to be opened by itself Friday after your delivery after your labor intense labor in prayer some doors that are shut are about to be opened am I talking to somebody here protocols are going to be broken barriers are going to be broken some laws are going to be suspended for somebody here tonight if you believe raise your beautiful hand and shout yes Hey, can I preach? Shut sure, yes. yes. I remember okay. the first time ready, I saw oh, a machine, oh, machine called yeah. ATM. I have an ATM automated teller machine. Somebody knows what I'm talking about. You put your card in. Type your PIN number. Then money comes out of the mouth of the machine. The first time I saw it, I said, this thing has never happened before. Until I saw in the Bible when they came to Jesus asking him about the payment of his tax he said to Peter go fishing the first fish church open his mouth there is money in it somebody give the Lord a shout your breakthrough is coming your miracle is coming change is about to happen God is about to turn around your destiny for good you may be down to nothing it's up to something with you shut up yes. the fish was God's ATM I remember the first time I saw something called elevator. The one we call lift. The now, President, the first time I had such an experience, I said, This day has never happened before. Until 
Say to your neighbor, there is nothing new under the sun. Or of what you who how no yami who be pen what? He said, Behold, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? We God all things are. And I prophesy over somebody. Your problem is a possibility with a capital P. I said it's a possibility with a capital P. Sure, yes. yes. When Jacob had an encounter with God. Hmm. When Jacob had an encounter with God. On that night when he slept. When Bible says. In the spirit. He saw angels. Descending. And ascending. Descending. And ascending. That was God's elevator. Give it to Jesus in the house. Give it to Jesus in the house. Masatole be katora. And you tell me what say? We do who no money not do a rati. Amen. What you say? Now we no kuramu. Amen. Any who who mo? Amen. Now go so bomb paye. Amen. Onu no nim di oye. Amen. Efa obrahu. Amen. Now say Uriya. He will lift you up as a trophy of His grace, a trophy of His glory, a trophy of His handiwork. Mommy, I remember mm. Mm. the first time mm. an athlete mm. ran a hundred meter race hey, I go from us well to America. in 9.63 seconds. That was 2012 Olympics. Now, Olympics is an, 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 an record. What is his name? You say him bold. Mm. 9.63. Mm. I looked at that time and I said this thing has never happened before until prophetess I saw in the Bible when the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah the chariots of him had gone ahead of him but because of the anointing he had run, he had run, the chariots of Ahab, chariots, yes. receive grace yes. for speed, yes. receive the anointed for acceleration, for the first shall be the last, and the last shall be the first, may the Lord lift you from the back, to the front, shout I receive. Shout yes. Hey. Glory, glory, glory. Me tell my son. As you preach, come and try and see. No easy. Can't try. Some of you, if I give you this microphone here and give you a mirror, you see how your face will change. If you have a mustache, you start losing it, and your eyebrows will start changing position. If you don't, if you are not bored, you start having boredness. <laughs> That's why you people must honor us. Oh, and no easy. Clap your hands and give Jesus praise. Wow! Hey, <laughs> mommy, I remember the first time. One day, I was walking around East Legon, and I saw this beautiful house. And there was this beautiful lawn in front of the house, talking about grass. The path is so beautiful. Then I saw water coming from under the grass, watering the whole thing. 
How many of you have seen one before? I said, wow. This thing has never happened before. Until I saw in the Bible when God created the earth, God had his own spring of water. Watering the grass, the flowers, the trees, shed yes. He brought water from the earth. Say to your neighbor, relax. Say to somebody, be cool. Tell somebody, don't worry. The God you serve is on your side. He's up to something with you. Say to somebody, be peaceful. Your breakthrough will happen. Your miracle will happen. I know what I'm talking about. Some of us, we have an experience. The things that we have seen, the things that we have heard, and the very things that we have handled with our own hands, they are the things we declare unto you. Believe me and believe God. Jesus said, believe me and believe also in my father. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't worry. You better say you better watch now. Why? Yo. So original now. Sorry, I'm sorry, answer. Now you did say Chris when you know. I'm mindful of time. I'm mindful of time. Yeah, Amen. 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 I want to forever be in the good books of the apostle. Will you please lift your two beautiful hands? The word of the Lord has come to you. Say, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit give me the grace, give me the grace to, cultivate to cultivate the right attitude, the right attitude towards, God. towards God. Come on, begin to pray. Now. Pray, pray, pray. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you so much. Lift your hands to the Lord and bless the Lord and give him praise. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. In Jesus' mighty name. If you have been blessed by the Lord, by this powerful ministry, lift your hands and just clap your hands for the Lord and Thank God for the man of God. Thank God. Thank God. It's a wonderful blessing. Jesus, mighty name. Please take a seat. Take a seat right now. Let's praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord and give this offering. Hallelujah to the Lord. Jesus, name. Amen. Lift it to the Lord.